Welcome to Complexity Headquarters. The best unparalleled infrastructure anywhere in the world. This place is absolutely amazing. We call this the ribbon. We had this custom made in Boston and we can put about anything you can imagine on it. It's really kind of a, an eye popper. Then we have the carbon fiber desk made here where people can come in and play games for free. What's the cost on a carbon fiber desk? <laughs> you really don't want it. <laughs> it was all custom design and custom built. This isn't something you can uh, get over at IKEA. <laughs> yeah, no, of course. We're super excited about you know our partnership with Herman Miller. We were the first esports brand to start working with Herman Miller. We have what I would consider to be the best unparalleled infrastructure anywhere in the world. We provide private luxury apartments about a mile away, so they don't have to be stuck in a team house. Eventually, everybody discovers it's not healthy working no. with your coworkers. <laughs> then they would come over to the Cowboys training table for breakfast and lunch because they're eating the same food that the Dallas Cowboys players are. On the property, we have a gym called Cowboys Fit, and our players that train here have mandatory workout days. So these are our stadium seating couches. You know, every kid gets yelled at when they're young for jumping on the couch, but these are actually made so you can. <laughs> the public area is something really important to us as a way to invite in the Complexity family and to yeah. what we're doing. Some of the merch says Tim the Tap Man. I believe yes, the, sir. The, the room that he streamed in is actually just in there, if we can take a look. Yeah, sure. Tim was always kind of goal number one. He likes to have fun and make fun of himself and his yeah. friends, you know, cloaksy and disrespect. There was a kinship there immediately, and uh, we're super honored and excited to have him as part of our family. This isn't just Tim joining Complexity. This is also Complexity joining the Tapman Army. We have two primary training rooms that you're standing in right now, and these were designed to perfectly replicate what it's like to play on a big stage of esports. I've always um, come from a sporting background that believes you have to practice like you want to play in the same environments under the same intensity. We designed our training rooms with custom lighting systems, custom audio systems, heating and air systems so we can replicate anything that's going on. I'm about to blow your cameras out here a little bit. So we can pump in crowd noise wow. in, the, in our facility and customize the lights to do basically anything we want them to do. Wow. <laughs> so as you're playing, we will study whatever stage our gamers are gonna play on, what the color schemes are, what the lighting is typically gonna do, and we'll replicate that while they, while they practice. We put a lot of energy into really making sure that these rooms are at the cutting edge and no one has anything like them. To the best PCs, of course, um, to the one-way glass where coaches and, and staff can watch the players without disturbing them. Because as you know, a lot of times you're on the stage, you're in a glass box. We're proud of these rooms and the technology that's gone in the facility. We're starting to study the brain. We're starting to study the eyes. Uh, we have a partnership with Alcon about moisturizing the eyes and studying next level type of things. How do we take the human brain? How do we take the ocular cavity? How do we take these things to the next level to come alongside our gamers and help them? Including what's next in the decompression porch. This is our famous nap pod. Wow. You can hop in this bad boy. It's not meant for fat guys. We won't fire it all the way up, but there's <laughs> headphones back there. You put on, plays relaxing music. It'll tilt back, rub your back, and uh, then, then you zone out and uh, take a nap. <laughs> I think I'm going to do this solo from here on <laughs> In the history of esports, generally speaking, people will crowd around the in-game leader's computer. But we wanted to have a proper classroom. And this is our classroom where our players, our analysts, and our coaches can watch our own demos to improve. We can scout the opposition. This is actually a 98-inch touchscreen. Imagine like a large iPad. Right now it's just playing a video. Yeah. Uh, but the coaches can go through demos, pause, draw on it. You know, you could be like, Config, you missed your flash here. You can draw on the map and show like how things are supposed to go. Um, really taking esports and esports classwork and, and training to the next level. No distractions on the walls, no windows. Like, exactly. exactly. Yeah, that's smart. This room is actually our cog lab. Cog lab. Cognition lab. This room has rubber flooring and is designed for our performance coach to either do physical 
type of rehab and taking place from massagers to shoulders to wrist stretchers, um, more Normatec boots, all kinds of ways to come in and, and stretch. But the real focus, there you go. I you got the that. nap pod, you got the massager. You're never gonna wanna leave here, Mike. I know, I might actually just, <laughs> I might just work here. Which takes us right into the Miller Lite Players Lounge. Because all work and no play makes Mike a dull boy. <laughs> we have this couch custom made in Europe. We have our video wall, we watch our teams play. So people that work in the back and our pro gamers have this place to hang out. This is where the real work gets done in our yeah. facility. All the office work, booking plane tickets, doing content, um, running social media. This is our bullpen. Over here behind us, we have our editing bays. Uh, it's where our video editors can work. Troll trophy. Yeah. Nice. We like to have fun around here. Okay. So, you know, we got to troll every once in a while, and uh, whoever has the best recent troll gets this. Nice. But it is currently up for grabs. But... So I, I could win it. <laughs> That's right. This is my office. With has a pretty good view. Yeah, that's amazing. So over here is Tostitos Plaza. And over there is Ford Center, which is a 12,000 seat indoor football field that can be used for concerts and other things, like eSports. You know, when times are hard and you, your teams aren't winning, you know, events are getting canceled, does it help looking out there and kind of being like, there's a bigger picture? It does. What Jerry Jones and the Jones family have been able to accomplish um, is quite impressive to say the least. Yeah. And it also really keeps me humble because, you know, sometimes younger fans would be like, oh, like guys like me and Hector and Mike and Nate or whatever, they're like, oh, these guys are the best, these guys are gods or whatever. It's like, we're doing pretty well in esports, but <laughs> yeah. we still have a long ways yeah. to go. But we have to stay humble, we have to stay hungry, and we have to keep building this space and not think like we've arrived. Here's kind of our memory wall. Here's Call of Duty that you yeah. mentioned, Counter-Strike, Dota, uh, FIFA. This is the best org that somebody can be on. Jason, Soren, Josh, just everybody in the staff, just amazing. This was actually a championship gaming series trophy that we won in 2005. In the iconic uh, shirt and tie, of course. Yeah, in the, in, the old, in the old white shirt and red tie. Here's Doug playing with uh, Post Malone when he visited. What was he like? It was really cool. You know, you never really know what to expect when you have like a megastar come through. Um, and we have a lot of celebrities visit the property, obviously, for the Cowboys. But Post Malone came through and played Call of Duty in the Cowboys training auditorium with, with our players. And he was one of the coolest dudes. Guy next door who genuinely seemed surprised that he was so famous. And yeah. he was just like living like this life he never anticipated. He was a really nice guy. So here we have a 2005 ESWC Counter-Strike trophy. How much does that mean to you? That trophy means a tremendous amount to me. That event was a launching pad because no longer were we the underdogs, no longer were we unknowns. That trophy, you could say, kind of launched a complexity brand, and here we are 16 years later, still rolling. <laughs>